Right now, it's time for a look at women funding women-led businesses. In 2023, companies founded by women garnered just 2% of the total capital invested in venture-backed startups in the United States, according to PitchBook. But that number doesn't tell the whole story. Sharon Epperson is here right now. She's got more on that. Sharon, good morning. Good morning, Becky. You know, it's a small fraction of the total pool, yet venture capital funding in the U.S. for female-founded companies has been trending up in recent years. The upswing has been helped by the creation of several women-led funds, incubators for female founders, and more new companies. Emergency physician Elizabeth Claiborne developed a device to stop nosebleeds. Each Nasaclip can be used for one nosebleed episode. In the last four years, her startup, Nasaclip, has raised over $3 million in funding, mostly from female investors. When women invest in women, they also bring to the table more than just capital. They're introducing the social network that is needed to be successful. When we first met Dr. Claiborne last year, Nasaclip wasn't yet on the market. Now the product is for sale and bringing in revenues. I don't think I would have actually got off the ground at all if I had not been, you know, believed in really early on by my fellow, you know, female investors. One of her backers is Portfolia, a woman-led venture capital firm with investments in over 140 companies. It's all about putting our money behind the companies that will enhance our lives and provide us those returns. The Portfolio platform creates and manages 16 venture funds aimed at women investors. We have about $25 trillion of wealth in the U.S. and um, we're approaching 50% of all wealth being owned by women in the U.S. today. And that wealth is power if we use it. Investors in Portfolio funds must be accredited. With $200,000 a year in income or $1 million in net worth minus a home. The minimum investment in a portfolio fund is $10,000, and each fund invests in 10 to 12 companies. So we let them dip their toe in and basically give it a try and see what venture investing is all about. And investors have a stake in startups that have the potential to generate significant value, not just in dollars, but also in women's lives. Now, major corporations pledging to back underrepresented groups have helped drive the increase in money going to women. For more on women funding women and women investing in women, join me tomorrow, March 5th, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, for a free virtual CNBC Women and Wealth Summit. I'll be joined by several top experts talking about practical strategies for building wealth. Becky. Sharon, which companies have made a difference for funding for women? Where can female entrepreneurs find that funding if they're looking for it? Well, if they're looking for it, there are a lot of major corporations, big financial services firms now looking to back women-led funds. One of them is Bank America. They have pledged um, since they made an initial pledge in 2020 of $200 million that they would put to women-led and minority-led firms. So far, they've given about 500 million in equity investments to these types of funds. So there are a number of companies doing the same pledging and, and raising their pledges to female-led funds. And there are a lot of places that, you know, women can go to look for these, this money and angel investors as well as some of these venture capital funds.